Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Single Cut Beersmith's Hop Sounds Ale. I hesitated there because it just says ale, and I don't know what exactly kind of ale it is, but we're gonna figure it out together with you. Let's pour you first. This is gonna be a pale ale. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's 5%, so I don't expect much. Well, it could be a session. But no. I expect the world, because every single cup beer we've had has been great. These guys are from Astoria, New York, Clifton Park. I guess they have three different uh, facilities now. Seems like they've expanded since we were last there. Mm. That brewery was really cool when we went. Like they had uh, every tap handle was like a guitar, like shaped like a guitar neck. Oh yeah, that's remember right, that? Yeah. And they had like a live band, and they were just going crazy. It was like a party in there, and it was like the middle of winter, in like November, January, something like that. It was cool. Yeah, they had um, a guitar player playing on like the ceiling. Yeah. On top of where the bathrooms are. <laughs> it was like a little stage area yeah. up there. That was cool. They had like amps and drums and like a, a drum cage, like a shell, you know, the glass, you know, yeah. things going on. It's pretty well done. It has some good food too. I remember that pretzel was pretty decent. So yeah, right off the bat, we're looking at a um, kind of a slightly hazy sort of pale yellow uh, in color yeah. beer here. Like a hazy pale ale. Yeah, that's kind I think what this is. Kind of straw yellow. Some sediment happening in there, sedimentary action. It's got a good, nice, micro bubbly head. Very pure white. Nice lacing. Doesn't hang around too much. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna taste good. Yeah. It smells like a dry hopped. It definitely has some, a lot yeah. of dry hop going on there. I don't know if these glasses are dirty, but it smells kind of apple-y to me. I'm not getting much on the nose as far as hops or very much, I mean, that's just grainy, I think. Yeah, I'm just getting grainy. Yeah, not a lot of hop presence on this one, but. We'll find out. We will. Okay, cheers. cheers. That's like refreshing. It's like a hoppy pale ale, but it's not bitter. It doesn't it doesn't like stick to your it's, tongue. It's yeah. It's really light in body. Mm -hmm. Like really, really, really light. Like this is much lighter than I was expecting. I'm getting a little bit um, of that apple leaf flavor though. A lit, just a twinge. It's in there. I think that the hop character is, is subdued more so than I thought it was going to be, considering the name and the color, obviously. Hop sounds, I mean, this sounds like it's going to be, you're going to taste some hops in there. It's not going to be super crazy, but I don't know what I was expecting because it just, I, did, I don't know what to expect because it just says <laughs> dry hopped ale. This is like a refreshing pale ale. It gives you everything you want in like a low ABV beer, but you still kind of want a little bit of an IPA but you're not gonna get an IPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be a perfect like segue into IPAs or for like somebody whose wife doesn't like IPAs and like drinks yeah. wine all the time and just wants to hang out the brewery with their husband or something. This would be just the ideal beer for that. Um, or also just like a lawnmower beer or something to crush on the weekend or whatever, hockey game style. Um, this, is, this is a pretty good option for that as well. I like how it's not super carbonated. It feels like it's subdued. Like everything in this beer just generally feels subdued. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, sometimes that's what you want. That's what I want a lot of the time. Yeah, a little bit of that apple-y taste, um, but that's kind of to be expected with some ales. So, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold that against them. It can be the, the desirable uh, quality sometimes, especially with like German styles. Sometimes they uh, capitalize on that a little bit. I almost kind of wish they filtered it a little bit more though. Because there is like hot particulates floating around in there. And for a beer that's this light in color, it doesn't hide it very well. So, I mean, that's just like an aesthetic thing, though. All right, guys, if you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to stay notified when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.